Hello, I'm the Cinema Fanatic, and today I'm going to review Norer Matier's Trepanator. The plot of Trepanator is odd. I don't speak French, and I couldn't find a good plot synopsis. Based off what I read, the plot is about a doctor who goes about killing his patients in gruesome ways. He can also resurrect his dead patients and send them on their merry way. However, they fall apart soon afterwards. There is also a plot about the doctor transplanting the president's brain in order to take over the world. Uh... Oh, there's my brain. It's also pretty obvious that Norbert Matier took inspiration from Reanimator, especially considering the fact that the main character's name is Herbert West. Well, aside from the plot, there's a lot about this film to admire. Norbert obviously had a bigger budget when making this, and he was able to get access to numerous locations, like this dungeon. His set design has also gotten better. There are two celebrities in this film, adult filmmaker Jean Roland, who appears in numerous Matier films, and Bill Lustig, director of Maniac Cop. In fact, the Maniac Cop himself makes a guest appearance. There are a variety of memorable scenes in this film. The opening dungeon scene, for instance. A scene of a man cooking a brain. An army of one man repeated numerous times to make it look like there's more than one person. A zombie cat. A zombie pulling his own head off and tossing it at someone. A shot of a man getting shot in the eye by a bow and a syringe. Yes, you heard that correctly, a bow and a syringe. And bucket loads of gore. Yes! In my opinion, after Agaroth, this is one of Norbert's best films. However, there are no subtitles, and without subtitles, the film can get boring, because you have absolutely no idea what anyone is saying, and the majority of this movie is people talking. So unless someone releases an English subtitled version, then you're out of luck. But based off what I've heard, the film is boring and most languages, but I can't verify that because I can't speak French, and, you know, I don't have a frame of reference. But regardless of that, the film is still very entertaining to watch. If you want to go and watch it, go and watch it. I'm the Cinema Fanatic. I'll see you next time.